All right, so today I'm going to be working on the uh, floor pieces off of the truck. Um, you might remember in one of my previous videos, uh, I worked on a piece to replace this because it's pretty roached out. So I cut out a new piece, and today I'm going to be drilling out the holes. Um, I picked up some countersink bits for those, so all the bolts lay flush. Um, hopefully, uh, if everything goes well, got to get some paint on those today, too. So before I started doing these videos, uh, I taken the bigger piece uh, that goes where the shifter comes through and everything and had uh, welded some patches in that because it was pretty rusty, uh, pretty much along the same edge uh, where that smaller piece was rusted out. Looks like water maybe collects in there and just rusted it out over time. So, um, again, if everything goes well, maybe get that in some paint today. Now, I ended up keeping this old piece around, um, so I had these holes here for reference for how big the new holes need to be. Just a non-professional pro tip. Looks like five-eighths. Okay, so I've got the countersink bit on here now. Um, to be honest, I've never used one of these, so it's just kind of a trial and error kind of process here, so uh, let's hope for the best. Right, so you can see those now are countersunk so that uh, if I put the bolts in to mount it, it should, uh, the bolt head should be flush with the rest of the floor. My original plan uh, is going to sandblast all these diamond plate parts, but that's really just a lot of mess for such small parts. So I'm going to try out some of this paint remover. Uh, it's just a cheap, like, dollar or something paintbrush, so you're not ruining uh, nice, expensive brushes. And definitely, uh, I'm going to wear gloves for this. So while I'm letting the stripper work on those small pieces, um, I've also got the uh, cab steps. And what I found with this aluminum paint is when I try to, to strip it off with a uh, wire brush uh, on my angle grinder, it just kind of melted and pushed around. And uh, I got it all off um, on the, the big like running boards for the side, but it took a long time. So I'm going to try the stripper on this and see if it does any better. So he just kind of smears around, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this. I might just end up sandblasting these. It might just be easier. So as you might have been able to see, uh, the aluminum paint just kind of smeared around uh, with the paint stripper. It didn't really lift like the other paints. So I just kind of kept at it with the brush and uh, rinsed it off. And uh, went at it with the brush again. And it actually came off fairly decent. 
I might just try uh, another round of the stripper and see how that does. Uh, see if it gets the rest of it off. Otherwise, I might just uh, have to go at it with a wire brush again. All right, so here is the finished product. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any video of actually painting it uh, because I was kind of in a rush and I was doing it outside and it was a little bit dark out. So um, anyway, um, I ended up actually using a roller to put it on because um, I didn't want to get any uh, brush strokes in it using a brush and um, just didn't want to deal with uh, overspray from spraying it uh, here at my house and uh, you have to forgive the mess in the background we uh, had to take our home office and make it into another bedroom for one of our kids so all that stuff is piled in the garage now so um, anyway here's the finished floorboards and once I finish painting the cab they can go in hopefully for the last time